In February, we stayed at Riverview RV Park and Resort in Vidalia, Louisiana, on the Louisiana-Mississippi borderline. It is on the banks of the Mississippi River, across from Nez Chest, Mississippi, the oldest settlement on the Mississippi. It has 135 total RV sites, and all have full hookups with 20, 30, 50 amp service, and most of them are pull-throughs. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. So here we are driving into the park, and you drive up over the levee, and you'll see the office there right away, and you pull over to the left to get registered inside. There's two sides to the park, on the right and on the left. We were on the right side. Did you see this poor thing? What poor thing? Dixie. It is covered in dirt. Aww. It's a little low right there. Real nice uh, recreation hall here, and nice laundry. Dave likes to shower. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Got a nice pool. But you just pull up here where this white truck is. I'll pull up over here, and you can go look at the pool. All right. The back side of the office. Boy, you're pretty brave getting in that water. <laughs> a little chilly. The hot tub looks nice. That's a big tub. I under it one time. Oh yeah? When, when Ashley puts it in two seconds. Oh, not too hot. Better than nothing there. Let's go back here and check out the bathrooms. So they have four separate restrooms. So you have your own private shower. Dave said they had wands. He really liked that. You have nice washers and dryers here.
registered, you go to the left or to the right. The left side has more trees. I believe everything is 30 and 50 amp water sewer. You can park in the grass here if you need to. The staff is very nice. They're work campers. Thursday when we got here, this place was almost packed. Now it's not. It's strange for a weekend. You pick your site before you come here, and you have to give them a down payment of one night. They take um, discount unless you stay unless you stay for a full week, and then you don't get a discount because they already discounted. And if you come after hours, they'll have your spot bark with the orange cone, so nobody can take it. If you come out, come here, just stop on by. You just can pick a site as long as it doesn't have an orange cone in it. They have all gravel roads with speed bumps. Most of the sites have concrete pads, but not all of them. The longest sites, of which we are in, are 60 feet long. So that one's got an orange cone, so someone's coming in for that one. And their view is like this. It's not bad. Nope. They got a little got fire ring. Fire pit. They got wood because they had all that ice storm come through here too and they've lost a lot of limbs. Big trees over here. This is a nice sight over here. Mm -hmm. Back to the office at Rec Center. Over there. So then coming out of the office area here, you can go to the right. You go to this section which has very few trees. They got horseshoes out here. If uh, for some reason, if you have a boat trailer or something that won't fit on your site, Beyond that last row, up on that levee, you can park over there in the grass. They got a little kids area over here. Oh, is that for little kids? No. I was in there last night. <laughs> There's the dog park. Quite a few empty spots. Got some orange cones out, so there's people coming in. Look at this thing, all fiberglass. Well, that's nice. You know, we've seen those before. But fiberglass is a smart way of keep, trying to keep things mm -hmm. easily cleaned and taken care of. It's easy to take care of. So now we got grass sites here and there's nobody in them. Now I don't know if they had a little uh, levee problem here. Look at all these sandbags out here. Must have had a little problem at one point, huh? Just a little. <laughs> and of course, you can walk up here. They have a walkway all along here. Let's see, they let you park in the grass here. We chose this side because it was a little closer to the river and we weren't going to have to deal with the trees. And I'm in love with this little black poodle up here. The roads are a little narrow, but it's enough to get in and out. There's a sheep -a doodle Cute, cute, cute. And here's our view out our door. Here come the barge. Here come the barge. It is a long one, isn't it? Well, thank you. Mm-hmm. Now that's a long barge. I think that's the longest one we've seen anywhere. Wow! Riverview Park and Resort is quiet and peaceful. They have private bathrooms and showers, laundry facilities, antenna TV, large clubhouse with modem hookup, Wi-Fi, river walk, rally meeting room as groups and rallies are welcome. They have a swimming pool with a hot tub, playground, picnic area, book exchange, biking, boat launch, fire rings, horseshoes, ice, propane, RV storage, dog park, free shuttle to the casino, gift shop with RV supplies, and some groceries. Area attractions including famous Southern Hospitality, as well as its antebellum pre-Civil War mansions including Melrose, home of the Natchez National Park. Downtown is filled with great shops including antiques. Excellent restaurants allow you to step back in time and enjoy remarkable meals and we will show you a few later in the video. They are open year round and there is always something to do or see in the area. The area offers wonderful opportunities for hunting or fishing, touring the many antebellum homes in Natchez, exploring the Natchez Trace, or simply relaxing and watching the river traffic as the barges and paddle boats go by. Along with the 135 full hookup sites, they have two furnished cottages, primitive camping, and a one and a half mile concrete walking path on the riverfront. Check in is at 1 o'clock and check out is at 11. We are headed into Natchez, Mississippi. Gonna go take a look at 
the old Andy Bellum homes and just drive around a little bit. Check it out. There's the big muddy Mississippi River. Just driving down Canal Street. Oh, taking Somewhere. a horsey ride. There's the Grand Hotel Natchez. Yeah. Right there. That's Stanton, Stanton Hall. Hall. I like this one right here. Yeah, this is pretty. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Hard to grow. Yeah. Rosalie's National Historic Landmark. Moves, barn, and grill. How'd you like it? Good chow. Sweet shrimp, sweet crab. And spicy too. A little spicy. Lips are burning. Looks like you did good. Yep. Craw so dads and everything. Crawfish. If you come down to Vidalia, Louisiana or Natchez, Mississippi, you gotta come to the Craws, Claws and Tails. It was very good and the prices are very reasonable. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.